day of the market and it snowed overnight. Helpful. Uh, I've just checked my emails and the people who run the market are checking the conditions there. They're going to let us know by 8 o'clock whether the market's going ahead. Just thought I'd keep you updated. Okay, so the market is on despite a lot of snow. So let's go and try and dig out the van and see if we can get there safely. Beautiful, huh? Almost ready. Got a Christmas jumper on, even though no one's gonna see it because it's gonna have another jumper on top and a coat. So we're here all set up. I didn't film a lot of the process because uh, we were a bit late arriving, but let's see how the day goes. I did from a previous Christmas market ages ago. I used to sell them, they're just cardboard cutout baubles. Um, so I'm just giving those away with every order. Waste not, one not. really well so uh, can I show you we've sold a good bunch of them even though it doesn't look it there things are falling out of my pocket but it's all alright it's Christmasy it's Christmasy it's fine I've hung up some cards up there just to make use of the string that was already there um, here's a tip if you're ever doing a market in the winter is carry uh, kind of rechargeable battery pack there keep it in your pocket and plug your phone in because the cold weather <laughs> the cold weather will stop your phone working and it'll stop your card reader working so I've got my card reader plugged in in my pocket and my phone when I'm not using it is in my pocket as well so that's a good tip for you if you're doing a market ever in the winter
second coat to come out. That's another tip for a Christmas market. Lots of layers. So it's starting to drizzle now. Um, so it's so good having your own gazebo. So if you ever do a market, uh, I definitely recommend investing in a gazebo or at least borrowing one. So because it's raining, this is actually the first market that I've ever been on that it's rained and we've needed the gazebo. But because it's raining, we are um, packing up underneath the gazebo and then this will be the last thing that we actually put away. Normally it's like something that we take down as we're boxing up, but uh, we'll take that down last. So we're hoping that some of these market stalls will get put away. Um, and then we can park our van in that space, but we'll see. Uh, everything's packed up, ready to go. And then we'll fold the walls of the gazebo underneath, underneath the actual roof. And then the roof will be the last thing that we take off. I don't know if that's interesting to you, but you might like to know my thought process. It's been a lovely day. So we're back home now and look how red I am. It was so cold out. As soon as I've come into our house, it's, I'm, I'm just like a beetroot. Uh, yeah, we're back home now, everything's in. Um, I just thought I would give you a couple of things that I found useful in a market. And then at the end of this video, I'll link you to one of my other market vlogs, which gives, goes more in depth about like things you might benefit from in a market if you are wanting to do one, if you've never done one before, or if you've done a couple, but you just like to see things that might make your life easier if you are selling at a market, if you've got a stall at a market. So the first thing I would say is get a card reader, like, all but two or three of my sales today were all on card. So some, one person said today that they were glad that I had a card reader because they hadn't had time to go to the bank. You catch all of those people who might see something that they like, haven't planned to buy something, but they like it, so they're gonna buy it. They'll be on the phone or their, with their card. So a card reader. I use iZettle, but there are others out there. I'm not sponsored by them. It works well. It works um, through your phone's Wi-Fi, so, uh, or your, your phone's data. Uh, so it's good and portable and uh, yeah, I'm not sponsored. There are others out there. I think Square do one and there are probably others out there now. Sum Up, do they do one? Is that a sum, up, a sum Up machine? Anyway, have a little internet search on those, but I would definitely recommend getting one. Um, you do pay a small fee for each transaction, but it's a nominal fee and you probably find you get a lot more sales because of it. And it saves you going to the bank as well. You don't end up cutting into your float um, and your change, so you don't need to get your change renewed at the bank. It's, it's basically all good. The second thing is get a gazebo, or even if it's a like, garden gazebo, something to cover you over, because if it does rain, you don't want your stock to be wet. There was someone who was next to us who had to cover all of their stock over with a tarp. Um, which isn't ideal. So even if you've got to borrow like a garden gazebo off someone, you know the ones people have when they're having a barbecue or whatever, uh, that it, it would be it would be ideal. And with that, make sure you've got weights because one gust of wind can take some of those lighter ones away. So weight it down. Uh, but yeah, make sure you have that. And the last one I'm going to leave you with is make sure you've got an appropriate amount of money that you can give in change. So all of my items are either round pounds, so they are, they're like three pounds, uh, 10 pounds. And then I've got some things that end in 99. So like my book uh, is 6.99. So I have pennies in change, so that if someone pays like me seven pounds, I can give them a penny change. And I have uh, round pounds, so I can give them change. And I also have five pound notes. I don't have anything bigger than a five pound note because there's no point because if someone pays with 
you basically want the smallest denominations possible so you can give give change all day long if you need to um, and with that a little sneak tip is don't be afraid to ask for change if someone tries to come along with a 20 pound note or a 50 pound note if you can't give the change ask for smaller and people mostly have it it's it's fine but if you've got a card reader and they don't have any smaller change they might offer to pay by card so that would feed into that too but thanks for joining me for today's vlog i hope it was interesting if you like these kind of vlogs let me know let me know the kind of thing i've actually got a market coming up next week if there's anything in particular you'd like me to show you about the process of setting up for a market or i don't know let me know uh, and i can film it at that market while i'm there but i don't know my brain stopped working but i'm going to leave this video here and i'll either link in the video description or in if an image pops up at the very end you can click on one of those one of those will be a market vlog so if you're interested in market vlogs make sure you click through to that and i will catch you in the next one so until then bye